guys, welcome back. Today was my second day back to uni. I have my first assignment already and I wanna share it with you guys and just kind of take you through today what I'm about to do in preparation for my first assignment. Just to give you like a really rough idea of what the project's about, it's fashion and film, like that's the name of it. I don't know if you can see that. And we have to get inspired by a film that's in this list and you have to research it and find inspiration and themes and whatever it is and take it and run with it. And then we're also going to create outerwear, which I'm so excited about. Since I've moved to London, like I've become obsessed with outerwear. Any designer that I see with outerwear, I'm always like excited to see how they're doing it differently. I'm super excited about that. And I'm also excited because it's based on film and I watch a lot of movies. I'm just all around like really excited about this one. So I went to that this morning. Like I went to get my brief and get like my timetable, which is like the schedule for the whole year. And we also had to do like a little presentation about like our top 10 designers. And now, it's about maybe two or three o'clock. What I'm gonna do next is go out to an area of London called Islington. There is an art store out there called Cass Art. Yeah, basically it's like a really cool art store and they have like an event going on today. If you spend 20 pounds, then you get 60 pounds worth of free stuff. And I remember I went last year and I got like some really good stuff. So I'm excited to see what they're gonna give out for free. So that is where I'm headed to next. And then afterwards I'm gonna come back, research a little bit about these movies, maybe even watch a movie and yeah just kind of get into the act of things and just really get the ball rolling. One mistake that I made last year, one mistake that I made the past two years is that I would always wait until like too late to start my research. Like the number one thing I saw other successful students doing that I had to pick up on was the moment that they got their assignment, they were like, okay, I'm about to go do my research. I'm about to go get started on my sketchbook. I'm about to go do it right now. And that's just something that I, I didn't have that in my mind. I was like, oh, got my assignment. I got three weeks before I have to submit anything. And then three weeks would come around. And what would I have? <laughs> I would be scrambling like the two, three days before trying to get like all of my stuff together. And I just don't want to be like that anymore. Like I don't need that kind of stress in my life. Like I just don't need that stress in my life. So what I've decided is that I'm going to be better this year as I've promised myself and I'm going to actually apply myself. So this is the first day I got the assignment and I'm already about to get started. So anyway, oh, it's enough talking. Oh, here's my outfit of today, guys. Let's just give you a look. So I'm wearing these earrings. Where did I get these from? AliExpress, AliExpress. Um, I'm wearing this necklace, which I love. It's a custom necklace that I made. It says 1993. So I put my birth year. Yes, I'm born in 93. I know I don't look like it, but yes, honey. I'm wearing this little shirt from Boohoo and it's tucked into some flare trousers. And I got my Vans on because they look like sneakers. Got my Vans on, but they so, look like sneakers. There's my outfit. So I'm about to leave for the day. I'm headed out the door to go to Cass Art and I'm gonna take you guys with me. Islington branch of Cassart and yeah I'm just trying to think about what I need because in order to get the 60 pounds free stuff I have to spend like 25 pounds I think or 20 pounds and then as a student I get 20% off which is really good Cassart usually has a lot of high quality stuff so I definitely recommend them as a great place to go get some things yeah so I'm thinking what I actually want to get is a couple of sketchbooks because I already know I'm gonna need that then I might also get like some pro markers or some paint or some glue sticks like just stuff I know I need don't want to necessarily spend my money on something that I don't really like I'm not really going to use it just to kind of hit that 25 pound mark I rather spend my money on something I know I'm going to use and that I actually need and then I get some free stuff so yeah I'm almost there Angel's such a cute area
goodies. I asked the woman at the door if I could record in there and she told me no. So I was kind of like <laughs> slyly, sneakily recording everything. But if you can see, I got a big bag full of stuff. When I get home, I'm gonna do unboxing, unbagging, just so we can see what everything is. And I think that would be a lot of fun. But now I'm carrying two bags. So anyways, that was cool. And I'm all done. And now I'm headed back home so that way I can start working on the actual assignment. So my next plan is to look up like maybe 10 videos, sorry, not videos, like 10 movies that I already know and like because I'm a little bit more familiar with them. And then I might try like to look up five movies that I have no clue about. And after I look them up, then I'm going to research like imagery on each one, see which one looks visually the most interesting, narrow that down to like maybe five or six options. Then I'm going to actually watch the movies. So that's my plan, kind of get inspired really generally and then bring it back. To like something really focused i just hope it's gonna play out that way so yeah i'm just gonna head back to the station and head back home and i'll see you there Welcome back but welcome home so yeah I just made it home and this is just gonna kind of be a little separate segment to the vlog in a way because it's like a haul yeah so I got back from Cal's art which was super cute here's the bag I love that they give out colorful bags that they have like such a range of different colors and I got the pink one today but yeah so I spent in total 27 pounds and then I got 60 pounds worth of free stuff which is amazing. So what I'm gonna do first is just show you guys what I spent my money on and then afterwards we'll kind of dig into the goodies because even I don't know what's in the bag yet. And yeah, I'm just really excited to find out. So let's go. First two things that I picked up when I walked in were glue sticks, Yoohoo sticks. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, if you're a fashion student or a creative student and you have to work in sketchbooks, then you already know like you're gonna need glue. Then I also got a ruler. Um, This ruler, what's good about it is that it has like stainless steel edges so if you use like a really specific slice cutter I, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about but like what do you call them a craft knife or like an exacto knife then it doesn't cut the ruler because it has like stainless steel edges and yeah that was just four pound fifty oh by the way the yoohoo sticks were three pound twenty five each I'm gonna be honest these prices are fairly expensive for what the stuff is but just keep in mind I got 20% off and it's really good quality things so yeah four pound fifty for that and then I got fine liners, which I really needed because the ones that I got were kind of getting dry. And this was a really good range, actually six uh, different ones. Always need these just because I do print textiles. So I am gonna be expected to, of course, draw a lot and yeah. And this was on promotion, it was $8.95. The original price was 15 pounds. So that was definitely like a really good buy. And then lastly, I got a sketchbook, which is a must have. Um, since I already have my assignment, I'm already gonna have to start putting my research down into a sketchbook. So I just got like, you know, an A3 sketch, A4 <laughs> sketchbook, and it was on special offer for $7.50. I just went ahead and got one. And together, those five items cost 27 pounds. So, because I spent 25 pounds, I got the bag full of stuff. So the first thing I see, mind you, I don't really know a lot of art stuff. <laughs> like I'm still learning. So sometimes I see something and I have no idea what it is, but this looks like a canvas. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Maybe I'll paint it and do a little art ting. I don't know, art ting. Like who do I think I am? <laughs> so yeah, that's definitely gonna be something that I'll probably use. And it's really heavy. It's like super thick. I thought it was a box, but. It's a canvas. So we got Windsor and Newton markers. So yeah, I got one watercolor marker and then I got one brush marker, which means that the tip is different. The brush marker has a different type of tip and it looks more like a paintbrush when you use it. So I got pencils, Derwent brand pencils, which is also really good. Um, So one graphic one, one pro color one, and one ink tense one. I have no idea what that means, but it's cool that I got it for free. And yeah, it's always, it's always good. Like if you're gonna be a textile student or a fashion student, 
you're gonna need art supplies like you're just going to need it so if you have a variety of media like pencils markers paint everything you can really use a range of stuff to express yourself visually okay so i saw two of these in there and this is perfect acrylic paint um again something you're always gonna need especially white like you always need white paint um so yeah that's really good i got one white and one phthalophil phthalo blue and we got more pencils more derwent graphic pencils um, I never know how to pronounce this brand. I think it's Posha, Posca, Posca. But these are really, really good markers. Um, a little blue pen. This is called Eco Line Brush Pen. Very user friendly, is what it says on the back. More pencils. Okay, looks like your girl's gonna be sketching this year. This is a brand called Faber Castell. Oh, I have one of these already. But this is like a really, really good black marker. Um, it's dual tip, so it has like one thick tip and one really thin, precise, like a fine line tip. Then I got a notebook, pretty standard. What's in there? Oh, some, something in there. Oh, this is moleskin. Oh, this is moleskin. <laughs> so yeah, if you know about moleskin, like journals or diaries, you know that it's an expensive brand. Like. It's expensive notebooks and this is a moleskin notebook so that's really really good it means pretty much it's high quality like it's gonna actually hold up and not fall to pieces okay professional acrylic system what is this something called liquitex okay this looks cool something interesting i'll be honest i have no idea what this is something called soft body and then this is oh this is a paint marker oh it's so cute it's little and it's red so that's cool got more color next up we got oh, no way i got a big <laughs> paint marker this is crazy i was gonna buy one of these oh my gosh i was gonna buy one of these what's cool about this one is that it's actually uh refillable so i can put whatever type of paint i want in there it's easier than having to like have a little pot of paint and a paintbrush and all that because it's all inside the marker but yeah that's really really like freaking amazing um let's see we got oh this is heavy body okay from this liquitex i had like a soft body and then this one is a heavy body and i'm guessing it's blue i'm guessing it's blue oh my god it's like a rage <laughs> that is so good oh my god i thought it was just one color i thought it was just the blue but it's actually a red a yellow a blue which is great like primary colors come through and then something a gloss medium so this is actually really legit so i gotta look up the difference between a hard body i mean a heavy body and a soft body because i have no idea last but not least we got what is this eco line i'm not sure what this is if i'm being honest oh liquid watercolor for paper and cardboard yeah it's already liquidy so Pretty much it's watercolor and i already have this one which makes me kind of sad because i wish i had got another color i'm still grateful though but yeah it's this ultramarine blue and i like it because it has like um like a dropper like that so yeah <laughs> so i think that pretty much sums it up i got a ton of stuff the fact that i only spent 20 pounds and i got my sketchbook plus all this other stuff is unreal like easily some of these items on their own cost like five or ten pounds each so yeah i basically spent 20 pounds and got 80 pounds worth of stuff which is crazy yeah so i thought that it would be cool just to take you off the tripod and go vlog style with the rest of the video um i'm gonna start by researching those movies as i mentioned and probably try to watch a movie today because like that the fact that i'm saying like i'm gonna watch a movie to be like towards my project that's just exciting anyway um yeah so i'm gonna work on that and that's pretty much it guys i just really want to put that information out there for people because i get a lot of instagram messages um from people that want to study fashion and i'm sure that they probably have a lot of questions and i want to make sure i'm answering them when i'm making my videos one of the things i have gotten asked before is what sort of materials should a first year student have and i'll be honest i really am not the best person to answer that because i didn't know i have a rough idea and maybe i'll do a video of like my sewing kit and also like all of my art supplies if you're interested in that leave it in the comments or let me know like in a direct message if you want to see that so yeah guys i'm so happy to be back on youtube like i know it's been time i say that almost all the time but 
I know it's been time and I really just want to like create content. Thanks for watching guys. If you want to see more, be sure to subscribe, like this video if you actually like it and that lets me know if I should make more or less of it. And if you have any questions, please feel free to DM me. You can hit me up on Instagram, on YouTube and I always reply. So yeah, have a good day guys. Bye.